Welcome to Minipoint Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the read.table scan error that often occurs when we are trying to read data or import data into R using the read.table uh, function. So the error always okay. Let me highlight it for you to see properly. You would see something like error in scan into brackets file is equal to file what is equal to what separation is equal to separation something like this it's weird and they will write line x i just use x to denote the the line that has the problem in your data set so they would say line x for instance did not have p elements it could be line one did not have for instance seven elements or something like that so let me show you how to solve fix it Usually this problem occurs. I don't know if probably there are other reasons associated with it, but I will create I will create a scenario and we try to sort it out. So and what I experienced was that this often occurs when you have let's say problems with your data set, and this problem has to do with spacing. And R R doesn't tell, when you are using CSV, it's okay. When you are using CSV, no problem, you can do it. When you are using read.csv, you do read.csv actually caters for spacing. But when you are using read dot um, table, it doesn't tolerate spacing. For instance, let's assume we have we want to write, let's say, um, for instance, this if there is space at all, it could be the name of a variable. For instance, if you say name, then you write space name. Uh, Okay, let me let me come. Let's say this is in French actually. I don't I don't like it this way. So since it's in French, let me just say no de. You know, no de. Forget about the fact that it's in French. You know, forget about that. But you see that I have created a space here. This space that I've created, if I'm to import the data, it could be either the name of the variable. It could the space could be somewhere located probably. Even if, for instance, if I should say Marie's friend, okay, if I should say Marie's friend or something like that, if I just write anything, the fact that there is just space, you know, the fact that, or let me just say, the fact that there is a space in between either any of the, the strings here, or it could even be a number, if I should write six and I write a space and write eight this would give me an error at the end of the day you know so this is what happens with this spacing when you are uh, importing data using the read or table command you definitely have some of these problems or challenges the scan error whatever line uh, line x did not contain or, or did not have p elements or whatever so what I I'm going to do is that I'm actually going to save this data set in the form of a CSV file and at the same time in the form of a, a, a text file or a tab delimited file and we will try to read the data into R without, you know, you see that right now I, have, I haven't altered it in any way, then we would see what would happen then after which I will intentionally create this scenario and then we sort it out. So to, sa to save this data in the form of CSV file, we simply click on file. And we click on save as the error always okay when you are using CS uh, uh, read or table that is but i would like to import the data using both commands to prove to you that csv actually tolerates spacing so if i should save this i would say it already exists no problem i would say yes okay and i would save it once again in the form of a text file put it on the desktop and I'll select tab delimited file where is tab delimited tab 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 format text the brackets no I don't want space delimited I want tab delimited zoom in it yet I can't see properly <laughs> format text I want text delimited or is it a uh, tab delimited not text work whatever this is what csv no one tab delimited okay sorry yes here it is okay so I'll save it on the desktop my text file tab delimited 
let me hit ok and we are done so if i should look on the desktop i have the two versions of my files so i have the csv file which is right here this is a csv file and this is the the what we call it the other file so we have this the, this one here which is the the text file or the tab delimited file and this is our csv file so first of all like i explained to you we will try to read our data into r using the first of all we'll try it with both commands okay okay so let's try with the read or csv command to import the data into r we simply have to say what let's call it data one so i can say data one is equal to now use the read dot csv command okay into brackets then i write into quotations the file path so i simply go to the desktop and come and copy the file path so this is our csv file right here on the desktop so all i have to do is to right click on it click on properties and click on security and then i'll copy the full file extension or the full file path right select all of it and right click on it and click on copy now after this we simply come to our desktop i said desktop i like saying desktop to our and they just paste it here so it's either you let me zoom for you to see it's either you can say control v to paste it okay and now you simply come over here you know since r doesn't work with backslash you have to put for a slash so you do this and do this do this you delete the, the the backslash and put for a slash okay now everything is done it's properly done so we select it and execute let's select it all of it and then click on run okay so we click on run to execute so when i click on run our data set has been imported if i should print the data let's see what happens if i should say print data print data one let's see data one how data one would look like okay so we have data one right here for us so you see you see that we have our data here sorry okay we have our data right here for us so we have the name of the student in french as you said no okay then we have the math physics french english and then validation whether the student has validated or not so these are the marks and whatever so here the data is well imported without any problem now let's try importing the data once again with read.table with read.table is it's, it's the same procedure we have to so let's name this time around the data we name it data 2 so we would say let's so this time around we name our data set data 2 so we say data 2 for instance is equal to we use the read dot table command and then let's try to we now go to the desktop and copy the, the full file path and come and paste it here so we go to our text file when we are using read dot table now we go to the text file so this is our text file right here that i named book tray so i right click on it you click on properties click on security and copy the full file path you have to copy it properly otherwise you'll be having rt errors at the end of the day so you minimize it and then you come to your r and come and paste it here Control v or you right click and click on paste and after which as usual you put you delete the backslashes and put forward slashes okay now after doing this all we have to do is to simply select everything then execute so let's print data 2 and see what happens data okay first of all uh, by default you realize that with a read.csv we did not have to put um what do we call it we do not have to put the the header 
the header arguments you do not have to do not have to set the header argument because by default uh, read or csv header is equal to true but for the read dot uh, table commands we have to set header to be equal to true by default header is equal to false for the with the read dot table we have to put comma then we will say header is equal to true to make sure that to indicate or to tell arrow that the first uh, row contains our variable names so we say header is equal to true and let's import our data right now so i simply select and click on execute right now let's print data 2 and we have our data 2 here well imported okay now let's try to create a scenario we create we make this data faulty as i explained to you by creating some spaces so first first of all we'll try to create a space here and this particular space let's put for instance um i don't know what we can put over here like in the variable name let's just say name and then we put you know we click on space press the space bar and you just write anything it could be anything it could even be just you could be eight here you write space bar then you write something so just to tell that in your data set if you have spaces and you know so that's why i explained to you that in case you have spaces it's better to use the underscore to in for now if i want to say uh john john jesse <laughs> let's put it that way the person is called john jesse if i should write john and i press on this the space bar and i write jesse and try to read this data into r it will give me an error why simply because there is of this space that i've created so in in place of this space i could have used the uh, underscore or you know or even hyphen to cater for that space but let's assume i leave the space like this and now try to read the data into r using the what do we call it the the read or csv command and first first of all and i'll follow by the read dot uh, table command so I'm trying to let you understand that with read.csv, this the, the spacing within your data, let's say especially uh, between characters or even you could have spacing between numbers, it doesn't really uh, uh, cause any problem. But let's try to save it into CSV format once again. I'll simply replace what I had already saved. You know, so I'll select CSV or let's save it first of all as okay let's let's save it first of all as csv just to show you that csv tolerates that so if i should save it as csv put it on a desktop let's click on save let's replace it yes let's replace it okay the replacement is done now let's come to our r or r studio right here and try to uh, reread our data here which is our csv file right here let's now uh, let's try to import it once again okay so we are importing data one which is a csv file as you can see this is a csv file so if we run and then we print data one whether and see what will happen see that the data has been imported look over here and you see jc john jc without any error so you see that read or csv tolerates this spacing but now let's do the sorry let's repeat the same thing using the read dot table and see what happens so with the read dot table we simply save this file once again in the form of a a text delimited file so we replace what we had already saved we put it on the desktop and then this time around we select text file uh text delimited okay tap text in bracket tap delimit delimited now click on save and let's replace what was already on the desk of yes okay this okay so now let's try to read the data once again and see what happens this is now the text file that we are about to read into r okay so let's execute so when we click on run look at what happens here's our our error you see it 
error in scan file is equal to whatever file is equal to file what is equal to what separation is equal to what you see what i'm talking about and then they are saying that uh, look here they are saying line two did not have seven elements you see line two did not have seven elements this is what i'm talking about this is the error so line two did not have seven elements let's look into our data set and see where did we create a problem we actually created a problem let me zoom for us to see properly you see that in our here's where we created a problem our, in our data set is actually on the second line it's actually on line two that we we kept there we, we wanted to write john and then we wrote john space jc and i explained to you that uh, csv read or csv is able to tolerate this so we we're able to import the data but for read dot table when you have some something like this it wouldn't work so to prevent this problem all we have to do is we have to we could either you know close it this way or if you want the sp the space to be seen then in place in instead of using the space bar we can put underscore or we can even hyphenate it you know whatever just to make sure that there's no spacing so what i'm trying to tell you is that this could occur anywhere it could be anywhere for instance here instead of having five you could have you, maybe you wanted to write 52 so writing 52 you might have written 52 space 2 if you have something like this it will give you the same error if you are using read or table if it could even be the file name if you want to say math math and something then you can say math underscore something but you shouldn't say math dash something it will give you the same error so let's uh, now that we've replaced the underscore with uh, i mean the space with underscore let's see whether we can now import our data using the read or table command so i'm saving it once again and now let's come back and read the data using the read or table once again okay so we we are going to execute once again now that we've uh, replaced the space with hyphen let's see whether there's any error see at this time around there's no any error why simply because so if i should say print data to print data to see we have our data here and we have our john here hyphenated or is it with underscore jc so this is how we resolve the problem of what uh the 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 read or csv scan error or sorry the read or table scan error you all you have to do is when you have this error it's often because you have spacing in your data set so you simply have to come to your data set and make sure that in case there is any spacing in your excel file or even your 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 text or tab delimited file you make sure that you close the spacing or you could use hyphen you could use underscore to make sure that you close the spacing and you're able to solve the problem thank you so much for watching and i hope this video helped please subscribe see you in the next video bye